The merger between Fenisi and Asset Capital is set on the core investments via their capital raising initiative, which is set to hit a combined 15.5 billion shillings at the end of the year. The merger is set to be completed in March after necessary market approvals. Elsewhere, young entrepreneurs in Kenya have a chance to be nominated and awarded for their entrepreneurial venture in a bid to help them scale their businesses to greater heights. This follows the launch of the 2020 edition of the Founders of the Year Awards here in Nairobi. The initiative, which is now in its fourth edition, welcomes young startups from 14 different categories and awards those with the greatest impact on its clients and the society at large. Nominees will include include entrepreneurs from Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania and Rwanda. The young people are the ones to build a sustainable Kenya or Africa. We need to be able to provide platforms that actually are meant to recognize and appreciate them at the same time platforms that actually can empower them to do that. And one of those platforms is FOIA. There's no platform or award like that in Kenya. There's no award of that kind in Uganda, Tanzania. We don't have to do this just for Kenya. We can do this for the region. He said we are going to spread it across uh, Uganda, Rwanda and Tanzania to have nominees from these countries and all these people to come uh, to Nairobi for these awards. And finally, the Capital Markets Authority has defended its action stopping certain asset managers from bringing in new clients. CMA in an affidavit sworn on the 17th of January says it acted within its powers to forestall a potential exposure to investors. Saiton had moved to court arguing that the decision was malicious because it had not given a chance to inform its investors who would be affected by the sudden halt of the activities of the trust. Patrick Igunza, Citizen TV.